Hello, welcome. Friend, in this video, we are going to learn how we can configure and install agent in Oracle integration instance of generation 3. So if you will see, I have already created one video where I shown you that how we can configure the agent in our Oracle integration and we can add the agent in our connection and that was the generation 2. So you can see this is the video connectivity agent in OIC. I will give you the link of this video in the description. So you can you if you want to navigate or want to check that the creation of agent in generation 2 you can you can get help from here also right and now in this video we will create agent for Oracle integration generation 3 instance right so there are slight differences so if you will see previously we don't have any authentication concept in in agent so when previously when we are going to create agent or install agent that was accepted the basic authentication where at the time of executing and running the agent in our on premise application we have to provide the username and password but in generation theory they removed the basic authentication and they added the concept of oauth 2.0 token base so whenever we are creating any agent that that the agent have the the o, 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 auth 2.0 authentication default so we will use that one so how we will use let's let's begin so first what we need to do is that first here you can see this is the yc generation 3 instance home page and from here we need to navigate to the design so that we can we can create agent so in, if you will move to the agent you can see here we have option to download the agent right so once you are going to download so we have connectivity agent that connectivity agent will download a zip file that zip file will contain the configuration details related to the agent so what we will do we will click here and download the connectivity agent it will take a little bit of time so once con the connectivity agent will be downloaded then we will create new agent group and in our instance we can create up to five agent group remember in in uh, oracle instance we can create up to five gen uh, agent group and each agent group can have maximum two agent installed on the system so it means that there can be total 10 system that can be connected to the oracle instance with the help of agent so now here you can see we have downloaded the agent group if you will see here this is our agent group and I want to put the agent group somewhere in my folder. Suppose I have created this agent. I will use agent 02. And here I have placed the zip file. This zip file contains the configuration details of the agent. So once I will extract here. Once we extract here, you can see this is the agent home. Here we have all the libraries and the agent details which will help us to make a connectivity between third party system to the uh, third party on premise application to the oracle instance that is cloud application and here you can see we have the installer profile.cfg that is the configuration file if you will open this file you can see this file doesn't have values any values we have to provide oic url agent group that is the agent group we will create identifier of that the idcs url previously if you remember in previous setup once we are here in this video if you will check Previously, we don't have option to provide that IDCS URL client ID and secret. But as you know that in the generation 3, they added the concept of OAuth, OAuth 2.0 token. That's why we have the secret ID and the client ID. So that whenever we will create any agent group, that will be automatically configured. So what we need to do is that here you can see this is the empty file. So I will close this one. And if you will move to the file, so what I will do, I will delete this one and new I will download. So here if you will see when we have to create the agent, so let me create a new agent group. So I will to provide the name xx agent group 02. Here you can see we are going to create agent group and here we have to provide the name. So here while creating the name, it asks for not providing the any special character as a space or any other. So here I remove that one and the name of the agent group is xx agent 02 and identify in capital xx agent group 02. Right. So now I will click on create. So here you can see my agent group will be created here now agent group is created now this agent will have the details of the configuration and all so what we need to do is that we need to download the configuration details of this agent group so what i will do here once you will move here you have option to download so once you will click on the download configure file it will download one configuration file and if you will open this configuration file in notepad you can see this configuration file have all the details that is the oic url this is the agent group identifier we have xx agent group 02 this is the idcs url scope k 
client ID and the secret. So as I told you, whenever we are going to create any agent group, the OAuth because of the OAuth 2.0 verification that this two part already already like generated by the client ID and the secret. So now this is the configuration file we need to use. So here you can see previously we have in our uh, here in our agent once we downloaded the agent uh, installer. So in that we don't have the the details, right? So here you can see we do, we have the empty. So what I will do, I will re copy this one, the complete one, and I will place here directly so that that will be replaced. So now we have configuration details, everything. So don't require. We will delete this one, or even instead of that one, what you can do is that. So suppose I have downloaded this one, I have already downloaded many times. So I will delete this one. Yes escape so so suppose here i have used somewhere yeah i will delete this one so now what i will do what you can do is that you can again download that one the configuration of the file download configuration file once this file will be downloaded here you can see this file is downloaded so i will cut this file and i will place this file in my head so instead of this previous one what I will do, I will delete this one. I, I will place the new configuration file installer the profile.cfg. So again, once you will open, you can see that the configuration file stored all the details of the agent group. You can see this is the agent group identifier, this is the instance URL, all, all these things. Now this time we have to use this one. So now you can see what we have done is that we have created the agent group that is the XX agent group 02. And now we have to install this agent in our local system. So suppose this is my PC and this PC is my local system. So I have to install here. So before going to install or run the Java, run the uh, agent in in the system, your system should have the Java. So if I will go to the command file when I will run Java, you can see I have Java installed in my system, and the path of the Java is already configured, right? I have already made a path of the Java set, right? So what we need to do is that we need to first we need to navigate to this folder navigate to this folder and we need to execute this jar file that the connectivity agent dot jar we have to execute this jar file so that the jar the connectivity agent will be installed in our system so there is two way you first the first way is you can make a cd navigate to that specific directory or just close this one come here and here just type that cmd so you can see the cmd will be the command will be open in your current directory you can see user desktop oic agent agent 2 this is my folder right and now here we have to execute this connectivity jar so previously if you will see whenever we are going to execute jar file java hyphen jar and the name that is connectivity agent dot jar it asking the user id and password but this time it will not ask user and add password because it's already have the client id and the secret Right, so that's why it will directly run the jar file. So once I will run in place enter, the jar will be executed and the connectivity agent will be installed and running in my system. So here you can see it's trying to make the connectivity. You can see all these things and last message you can see done with agent installation and configuration a starting agent for message and you can see agent started successfully now available for new message. It means that the agent this agent we created this agent in install in our system right so now this agent is our install in our system you can see previously the count of that agent was zero but now its count of that agent is one it means that that a specific agent that is this agent is running in one system here you can see this is the system details that the count of the system how many systems we have installed so if we will in run this jar file in another system that system will be make a connectivity with this agent group so now we have to use this agent group in any connection which connection is going to use for on-premise application it is non-cloud application so now friend this is the way you can create the agent and you can eject the uh, execute or run the agent group in your local system so now suppose we have to create one adapter with one connection so suppose we i have to create one connection that connection required agent so we will use this agent we will use this agent in our connection right so suppose let me create one connection so suppose i am going to create one connection that is ftp file connection file adapter right file adapter is non premise application adapter it requires agent so suppose i need to provide that xx file connection and here once i will click on the create you can see it asks for the connectivity agent so once i will tick here and here associate agent group 
so you can see in our system we have two agent group so the latest one which i have created that xx agent group 2 so i will click here and i will use this one so you can see that our agent group is make connected with our our connection now it's time to test once i will click on the test it will be moved to 100 percent because our agent is running in our system so now this adapter is this connection is able to make successfully connection between this oracle integration cloud with that the our local system with the help of that agent we added so now it's time to save and we can we can go back and we can use this file adapter connection in our integration anywhere so this is the basic way how we can configure the agent in our integration generation 3 instance Thank you so much for watching if you have not liked this video please like the video and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to check the previous video related to the agent configuration for generation 2 you can watch this video i will provide the link of this video in description and don't forget to make a comment on video it will it will give us pleasure and like it will really motivate us to make that videos that kind of videos again and again thank you so much for watching